Once you've selected EBSCOhost from the library's homepage, you'll be taken to a list of all the databases available within that service. It defaults to Academic Search Complete to begin with, which is a nice general database. It will cover some literature and humanities topics. You can also focus in alphabetically into the H's for Humanities International Complete or the MLA International Bibliography, which is not to be confused with the MLA Directory of Periodicals. The Directory of Periodicals is simply a title list of all the journals held within the bibliography. The bibliography is the actual list of citations from those journals. So this is the one that you want to search. You can choose those databases individually, or you can search them all together at once. Depending on how you accessed EBSCOhost, you will either have this option to choose your databases, or you may have just chosen a single database to enter into. You may have just chosen to search Humanities International Complete. And that's perfectly fine if you want to change your databases at any time to the right of where the database is listed. You can always choose databases. And then you can pick and choose which ones you want to search individually or in combination. So once you have selected the databases you're interested in, in this case, I'm interested in the humanities or literature. So I'm searching International uh, Complete, MLA International Bibliography, and the Academic Search Complete resource collections. I will then type in a particular uh, topic that I'm looking for. So I'll look up the author, Willa Cather, and I can do a search. That is the most general approach. That's the one I usually start with. I can, of course, always narrow down where I search. I can search for Willa Cather as the subject of the article or as the author, although she hasn't been writing for a while. And if you scroll down below underneath these search options, you'll see you have many ways to limit your results to full text, to peer reviewed journals, and you can limit by date. Although within the humanities, you generally don't need to limit by date because the humanities engage in an ongoing conversation of analysis and criticism and the date doesn't particularly matter, not in the way it does with science or nursing. I'm going to start with a general search, and I'll pull up my list of results to see what I have. So in this case, I have 4,273 results. If I were to change my databases, I would be able to see different um, result numbers there. Some would have uh, fewer. They, all three of those databases make up that 4,273. To the left, I can always limit at a later point. If I want to limit to full text, if I want to limit to scholarly peer-reviewed journals, I can do that. And that should reduce my result uh, total. So instead of 4,273, by limiting to scholarly, I've gone down to 2,171. I typically don't limit to full text straight away because I'm, I'm going to get a lot of full text anyway. And if I see something that's not available in full text, like this one, which is... Uh, from studies in the novel, I can see this blue button that's available, and I can always request this journal article be sent to me electronically from a different library. This is a nice service we have. Uh, it, by clicking this blue button, it will search all of our other resources to see if it's available in full text. If it is, it'll link to it, and if not, we can interlibrary loan it. So here comes a list of options. It says full text availability. It is available in a different resource, Gale Literature Resource Center, which is going to be discussed in a different video. So I can always click on that and it should take me into the full text result. Here it is engaging with that particular database. And now I have access to this peer-reviewed article from a different resource from Lincoln Land. So that's the way that EBSCO allows us to connect with not only resources within EBSCO, but from other resources we may have in different databases. That's why I don't limit to full text straight away. The other thing you want to do to limit your results would be to type in a particular title of a short story or a novel that you're looking into, and that would help narrow your results uh, again. So if I put in Song of, oops, you have to spell correctly though, Song of the Lark, is a novel. Instead of 2,171, I'm going down to 128. You'll always have the same options within EBSCO to print, view the full text, uh, email, et cetera. So if you have any questions about how to navigate EBSCO a little bit more fully, there's also a video from the library uh, available for that. I hope you have fun searching this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact a Lincoln Land Community College librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.